What's up everybody, welcome back. We've just got Beihai, the first livestock farm, and now we want to go for the trade port over there. So I've got my army there, and first before we do anything, let's end this turn here. So now it goes through all our opponents, like in Civilization for example. And once that is over, I don't expect anything yet, the very first turn. Very nice, now we are in Autumn. Let's move my army back up here again. So next up is winter. I'm not going to move over there in winter. That that would be bad for now. Um, and our mission is at home. Kong Rong. Construct or upgrade a building. So let's have a look at my town here. My, my capital. It takes another three turns before we finish this upgrade there. And we get some money out of that. We do have 2,500 coins right now. That's pretty good. So we could upgrade this one here once the town is finished. Or what we could also do is we could recruit. So now we have the recruitment menu. Menu. For duty immediately, but will continue to muster for some time before reaching full capacity. Right. So here we could do that now. So he's kind of like the melee guy. He has the range guy. So I'm going to move. Can I move them over there? Disband unit. Swap unit. No, it doesn't seem like I can move them over there. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we have the range units here. So I could have a second range unit with Kong Rong. Let's do that. We do have the money for that. And I want also to have another infantry unit here. Infantry is quite expensive. It is. We have the mounted saber militia, a light sword cavalry, light halberd cavalry, we already have sword cavalry. That would be the medium sword, but that is really expensive. So um, yeah, let's get for the, let's get go for the light sword cavalry there. So we recruit them. Cost us a lot, and I also want to go for a bit of more melee. So we go for the light sword infantry there. Another one. Okay, so we're going to wait now for them to recruit. But I try to to recruit them accordingly to the strengths of the generals. So we got our ranged one here, that's we, that's us. So he shouldn't die, even though he looks quite happy, unconcerned about everything. And the melee guy gets more melee troops and the range, uh, the, the rider gets more riders. Okay, that's that. Let's have a look at diplomacy. Do we have something? We have Liu Bei discovered now. So let's talk to him. There's Liu, ba Liu Bei. He's inspecting us at the moment. He doesn't know what to think about us. Let's negotiate something. So we could uh, negotiate a non-aggression pact. And he would actually do that. Very nice. And while we are at plus 1.8, so when that reaches zero, we can, you know, um, propose the deal. And if it reaches the, the negative side, red, he would um, decline our um, agreement or decline our proposal. So now it's pretty green with 1.8 so let's have a look shall we do that like let's have a look if we get some regular payments from him request that oh we can actually do that look at that we're still in the green so let's increase the regular payment here until it is at 0, 0.0 so 88 coins and deal is signed very nice so we get 88 coins now per minute up uh, per turn in addition from this trade and we also have a non-aggression pact with him now our first diplomatic decision. Let's end the turn. I don't see any reason why we should wait or do something else. That was a successful turn, as far as I can tell. It's winter now, so in winter I can't do anything anyway. We do have the new troops now, but the morale is not that high yet. You know, it takes a bit of time for that to replenish. Um, but we can start going to up there to the north. It's still in our territory. Only when I leave my territory, um, the military supplies would go down. And in winter, even more so. So I'm going to keep him there now. We are right at the trade port in the next turn. Let's end this turn. There's nothing else we can do right now. My cities are kind of occupied with building. And diplom diplomacy doesn't add anything right now. It's spring now. And we can attack the trade port. Okay, so we have the numbers once again, but we're not that strong. Look at that. It's only 300 more troops that we have. Um, and for now, I'd say we starve them out. 
because they are a bit strong now and it's spring so we can take our time we can starve them out for two um rounds and weaken them so that would be my goal right now Okay, we got no messages there. There are our characters. We have um, our generals here, our characters, and our characters at court. So those courts, um, those court Special people, they're doing something for us. Weapons, armor, and horses can be taken from defeated enemies and will grant great advantages to their new owner as well as increasing their satisfaction. Okay, very nice. So he's a sentinel. He excels at look uh, at locking down enemy generals or holding a choke point for a long period of time. Best group with a retinue of glaive infantry and melee infantry. So he's pretty good at holding stuff, especially for sieges then. He might be useful. Um, for the court, I know we can assign them on missions and stuff like that. Let's see if we have that somewhere. There's our court here. We have nothing unlocked yet. You know, we, for administrator, we need to read the maximum number of uh, administrators it seems doesn't make much sense to me um and we have candidates here so new people that we can recruit and our family and generals that we have available and our family tree so we have our father here he's dead cause of death is old age 43 and we are the general now all alone we also of course <laughs> We also, of course, need to look out for a wife um, to produce heirs. That's that. Let's see. Ancillary gained. We got something new here. A clay warrior as an item. And character development. So China's vastness is matched only by the many exemplars of wisdom and might that traverse it. The following individuals of note are currently visiting our lands. And we should not hesitate to engage the most promising at our services. Okay, so those people are in our area right now those are the candidates here and we could recruit them if we like their traits and stuff like that so he has a pretty high level there he's a warrior good for an army you know and we have the the advisor here so those are good for the court and manipulator goes very good for um um the missions that we can assign them to that's my faction summary here so here we see our rank. We are in the noble now. And to go for the second marquis, we actually need to, to get up there, gain a 41 additional prestige to reach this rank there. Um, and then we climb the rank and up to the emperor. And we also have a new reform now available. That is probably the most confusing thing for me right now, those reforms, because it looks very confusing and I have no idea what I should specialize here. So we do have, for example, the foreign envoys. For some reasons, we cannot get this one here, but we could get this one here issue, you know, but this is not possible. This is possible here. This would increase my population growth by 3K. And this one here would re regional commissioners. This branch will lead to increased military capacities. And this branch focuses more on efficient taxation and higher income. One available trade agreement. This branch focuses on e e economy and e-commerce. Um, ah, commerce, not e-commerce. That comes a bit later. And 10% income from commerce and some new buildings here that we would have then at our disposal. So I want to get up a good economy, but of course, first, I also need to conquer lands so recruitment cost might be a good thing or we or we get another three thousand people in our livestocks as i said this is very confusing here for now this tree so it, it branches out then to stuff to other stuff here and we could you know the blue one is for trades the red one is for military the green one is for growth the yellow one is for, I think, taxes. Yeah. So we can choose something here. Um, trade is not an option right now, I think, because we have way too many enemies around us. No one wants to trade with us right now. So I'm really 
inclined to go with the regional commissioner here. Some recruitment cost goes down. Um, or the growth. Let's go with the growth. Okay, so we get 3,000 more peasants in the livestock. That's the end of spring. Let's end the turn. And we get a diplomatic proposal from Liu Bei. He wants a military access. So we can have military access between our factions. Let's negotiate that and see what we can do here. Um, we are in the, in the green here again. So let's see if we can get something else out of that. Request a payment. Yeah, perhaps some money there. Oh, not much though. No money actually. Perhaps a regular payment. No, that's minus four there. No, that's not going to work out. No, there's nothing else here. But yeah, let's let's do that anyway. You know, so we have military access, and we've also increased our um, relationship further. And we're back here now at the siege. We could start the battle now. They're weakened, or we could just yeah. Well, let's let's start the battle. Let's do that. We do have the better numbers there. We shall be carried along by a wave of victory. Some trees flourish, others must die. Okay. That's it. He's got nothing to say. Oh, defeat may be our end. So that's some wise words there. And here we are on the battlefield again. We can't see him in the deployment phase. It's an open battlefield here. And I think this is the the town we are fighting for. It actually should be on the... On, ah, there it is. Look at that. So I don't know why it's not a siege. Oh, because they um actually went out and attacked us, you know, because that... That's why I couldn't um, I couldn't um, starve them out any longer. Okay, so we do have the cavalry here. I'm going to take my cavalry far away again, and def definitely above. Okay, so up there, uphill. Let's start the battle, and he's down there. Let's move forward, and let's move my cavalry over there. Let's see, he's got the archers in front right now, and on his flanks he got the cavalry. Very dangerous. But my goal is to take out his archers with my cavalry. Okay, so this is where we make our stance, stance because he's coming anyway. Looking good so far. Oh no. Where are my troops? Over there. And I'm also going to take my warriors here and fight the cavalry of theirs. That hurt over there, but here my cavalry actually defended it. While my archers are fighting, my cavalry is coming in now from the side and plowing right through the archers, hopefully. Okay, some of his people are fleeing already. Yeah, we don't even have enough time for that flank maneuver there that I love so much. Let's go, people. I love to flank them. Yeah, that's still looking good. Riding right in there.
That hurts. And that's it, I think. Everyone's fleeing the battlefield. That was rather easy. Oh, he still got something there. Not much of a chance there, though. And they flee now, too. And that's another victory. That looks pretty cool there. Decisive victory, very nice, and let's end the battle. Unfortunately, my cavalry was a bit slow there. And yeah, it took us three minutes, this fight there. As Kong Rong. And we have lost 200 people, I think. A quick wit dodges the heart. Okay, some loot, some money there. We lost 231, yep, but he lost 543. Decisive. And we could do something you know, with his troops, so we could ransom them. We could um, replenish our troops with that. Or we c yeah, let's ransom them. Release Money them. is more important right now. We have no use for them. Okay. Meditate on experiences and wisdom. Even great heroes are not immortal. So if one of your generals fall in battle, they will have to be replaced. The replacement will continue to lead their predecessor's retinue and continue the fight. Okay, and mission success. We also have built a... We've also upgraded our town back home. And got a new mission then. Recruit and maintain a total of 16 at the start of a new turn. Right now we have 14 um, and, uh, armies. There is no way around it. War is unavoidable. Sometimes you must fight to preserve peace in the long run. You must muster units for the conflicts. For if you are to foster greater knowledge and harmony in China, you must be able to defend yourself against those who would snuff the flame of wisdom out. A new quest. Very nice. And... Oh, it's still the siege here because, you know, he just... Um, attacked us with his troops there. And of course, there's no real siege anymore because he got no army there so I'm good, just going to delegate this one now the town is empty we more or less and we've also taken this village there now and occupied Let us make use of it. establishing order the grasp of the barbarians unravels and reveals to me the city and opportunity from here I could educate so many and lift the cloud of darkness from these times he's really up for enlightenment right there um, and we get 2100 experience for Kong Rong very nice. So we got this uh, trade port up here now as well. A lapping tide. And some money there. So in this trade port I could now upgrade my buildings. So let's upgrade the coastal trading port here. More income, more prestige um, and agricultural building construction cost reduction. So this is going to take three turns in this port town there. Right, and we can also do something uh, back home, so we still have some money there, and I could upgrade the livestock here, so food production is increased, income, let's do that. Where can I see my food? There it is. So we got three food surplus right now from the farming. And those are our resources and our current trade influence of 118. I'm going to get rid of the text uh, windows that we've already seen. This one here, occupation. We have captured an enemy capital. The enemy will be reeling from this ignominious defeat and may soon rally and attempt to retake it. Okay, so we should keep our troops here because uh, there's something coming perhaps. Buildings, we got now uh, the construction is complete of the large town in Bihai. That increases our income a bit. And Kong Rong has increased in rank. We have made friends now with our generals once more. And faction development. New capitals have been established. Liu Bei has got something new. And the Yellow Turban, of course, need to have a new uh, capital. And I think it's over here. But when we go back now to the strategic map, we can see that our empire here is growing now too. And Liu Bai is growing as well. That's good to know because he's our friend, hopefully. And let's have a look at my a faction leader. destiny is revealed by the traits that emerge over the course of their life. 
These will be embodied as strengths and weaknesses that shape their actions. Right, so we have now a new skill point for this character here, for a main character, that we could use now. So we could get, out of a strategist, there comes the judgment. So 25% ranged damage, that sounds pretty good. Or enables the flaming shot. Oh, that sounds pretty cool too. That is useful when we fight, for example, barricades, stuff like that. But right now, I don't think we need that. So let's go for 25% ranged damage. Oh, we can't do that. It's already been active here. We need to go to this way here. So 25% chance of evading capture post battles and 15% increase income from industry. Or this here, resolve unlocks assignment, replenish supplies and plus food, five food production. But we go with this one here, enables a flaming shot. Let's take this one. And a bit more cunning there, so more ammunition now, 60% ammunition for our ranges. Do we have something else that we could use? Oh, it doesn't look like it. This one's still the best one here that we have. Okay, so that's Kong Rong. He upgraded a bit there. And let's have a look at my courts again. Where was the assignment? So I knew, I know you can put them on assignments. There it is, assignments. Very nice. And there we have our court characters now. So Shi Yi and Sun Shao. And we could use them now on missions. So Shi Yi, we could go for simul stimulate the markets. 75% income from commerce, silk and spice. Or education program, 3k population growth. And 75% income from commerce. And we could send him to the same thing up there. And minus construction cost. Let's take this one here. Education program. That sounds pretty good. And he's been assigned now on this. And I think you can only have one assignment. Yeah, one out of one. So that is the assignment that we've taken there. A bit more or growth and income there as well. In 15 terms as far as I saw that. Right, that's that for the court and our generals look happy too. And I think that's it. We can't do anything else here, right? We do have some money left, but I want to keep my troops as it is. They need to replenish now anyway. So let's end this turn and see what awaits us next. Oh, the Han, Han Empire. Is he trying to attack me there? Challenge issued. The Kong seek trade and prosperity. It is cooperation, not this endless war that will lead to China's salvation. Cooperation, friendship and trade will lead to prosperity. So we should prioritize trading with others to secure our future. At the end of your turn, have a trade income of at least 1000. That would lead to path of glory. Okay, so trade is very much important. The Han Empire is on my territory here, though. They are very weak, as far as I can see that. Only one general. And he's very close to my livestock farm. Let's have a look at my diplomacy there real quick. Could I do something with the Han Empire? There it is. Negotiate. Nothing. So there's nothing we could negotiate. He really hates us. Liu Bei. Perhaps we can do something with him. Request, request a regular treat or payment and offer him food for that. So let's offer him one food and we get out of that 35 coins. We do that. We do have three food right now. Food is a key resource generated by specific buildings, such as farms and fisheries. And it increases my growth. No, I'm not doing that for a bit of money there. That's not worth it as far as I can see. Um, right, what, what am I to do now with this one here? I think he goes up there, right? I think he passes by my livestock. 
And that's a bit difficult. Let's end this turn for now and see what happens there. I could take it back then if he actually wants to attack something there, but no. He goes away again. Very nice there. And we are in the next turn. Have some additional money. And I think... Oh yeah, this is still the upgrade. Local as well as global improvements. Public order, population growth and food production can all be improved by constructing the right building. Right. Um, there is the next town here from the Yellow Turbine Rebellion. So let's send my troops down there. And from there I will then go to this direction there. Perhaps we need some more troops though. I'm more eager to go for... Yeah, let's go for the crossbowmen there as well. Increasing their and another melee unit there. So the light sword infantry. The tougher battles, while making sure you don't waste them on doomed battles. Yeah, let's go for the light swordmen there. That looks good so far. Some more units. And end the turn. I'm expecting an attack though soon. We'll see what happens. See you in the next episode.